Trilogy by Emerson Lake and Palmer is, as you can expect, their third record because, well, it has that name. Uh, trilogy, so um, yeah, like I said, this is their third overall uh, studio album for the f uh, like fifth time. But uh, yeah, I have reviewed their second album, Tarkus, and their fourth album, Brain Salad Surgery, I think a few months ago. And I did enjoy this record, so there we are. So we are back with some more Emerson, Lake and Palmer, uh, who are of course a, I believe, uh, you, you can correct me on this, but they are, I believe, a British progressive rock band. Uh, you know, both of them. Uh, I believe the, the, the three of them. And I believe they aren't brothers or something like that because they have other second names, but uh, they are very good pals. And uh, actually, you know, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, if you can't, if you can't think about it, you know, those are the names of the three guys, so that's you know, kind of funny there. Uh, or, well, it's kind of, you know, just a name, just really recognizable in my opinion. Uh, but we have overall 42 minutes and 23 seconds of uh, music here and we have 9 songs. Uh, this is requested by Prog Guy. Um, if I can look him up. Um, yeah, I believe it was requested by him, but um, yeah. And he says it is the best album, so that is uh, oh. it's a pretty interesting comment there. I do think, uh, well, I don't think it is their best record, but I still really enjoyed it. Um, we start off with the first song, which is The Endless Enigma, which is uh, 6 minutes and 41 seconds long. This song, uh, this song is overall uh, really interesting to listen to, it is really atmospheric. Uh, with the keyboards at the beginning, that sounds really nice. Later, there is some acoustic guitar in there as well. And I do like the song overall. It is really progressive in a way. Arguably their uh, most progressive song on this uh, album. Uh, later, we have uh, Vuji, which is the second song. This song is... Um, well, it isn't really anything, so I cannot say a lot about it. It's mostly bit of an instrumental with some vocals here and there so uh, it isn't really a song it's more of a transition and that uh, leads to the endless enigma part two uh, yeah although you know i much prefer part one because it is uh, it is way longer and uh, this song is only two minutes long so i cannot really do anything with that because it is really short it is a more of a credit song because Part 1 is basically, you know, the entire song and part 2 is a bit of a uh, credit sequence. Uh, so I do like, you know, this uh, this ending song, the part 2. It is uh, nice, it is mellow, it is acoustic, but yeah. Kind of, you know, not a lot to talk about it, but still, you know, I, I think a, uh, a good song, but, you know, pretty short. Uh, From the Beginning is actually a really, really catchy song and I believe this is one of their uh, most popular songs. Um, or there's a single or something like that. So, But this song is really catchy. It has some really great keyboard sections blended in with the guitar perfectly. Um, and I do think this is one of their most uh, catchy, poppiest, upbeat songs that, that they have made. It isn't, you know... It isn't poppy commercialized like their later career, but it is still, you know, quite um, poppy in a way. But it is not tasteless like their later stuff, you know, later in their career, which is just lackluster. But I do think, you know, that this uh, this is a great song. It is a great starting point for if you want to get into the band. And from the beginning, yeah, it, it, it also has the perfect title as well. From the beginning, start with the beginning, this song. Uh, then, we, then we get The Sheriff, which is a bit of a r really weird song. Well, it is mostly, you know, one note. It is, uh, you know, one section of uh, a bit of uh, repetitiveness. But we get some really weird and creepy laughs on there, like we're in a saloon or something like that. And um, some really dumb people are laughing at The Sheriff or something like that. I believe that that is what, what is going on with the song. 
I'm not a really big fan of it because it is kind of dragging, it doesn't really go anywhere, but I still can appreciate that they have a song about the sheriff, I guess. It is just, in my opinion, kind of useless, but hey, there we go, one of the weaker songs. Uh, Hold Down, I'm not sure uh, what they mean with that, but you know, I can I, I can tell you what I, what I think, but yeah, I mean, let's not do that. Uh, this song overall is quite uh, it's it's quite straightforward, you know. It's it kind of offers what Emerson Lake Palmer was known for known for at the time. They kind of repeat the things that they had already achieved with this song. It's yeah, in my opinion, at least it doesn't really go anywhere. It still is a pretty good song, but for me at least, it just kind of is a. Um, it, it, it's kind of his deja vu for me. That is at least my thing, and I think the the title is a bit absurd. But I'm pretty sure that somebody in the comments is gonna say to me that you know this album connects with each other perfectly, and that uh, that I just don't get it. And that is yeah, I, I do think that is the truth, you know, because progressive rock I do love it, but it is kind of difficult to understand it sometimes. But I but I do love the music, and that is what, what counts. Uh, then we get Trilogy, which is the longest song of this entire record. It is 8 minutes and 54 seconds long. And yeah, I, I do think this is the best song of the record. The title track, it is just great. Uh, it starts off with some acoustic guitar. And then later blends in some really progressive and really experimental keyboard changes, which is just great, man. I, I, I just really love that this song has so much uh, changes, you know. It really goes from... Um, a bit experimental, a bit more um, kind of heavy to uh, to some acoustic mellow guitar. So I, I do really love this uh, this trilogy song. It really shows, you know, that the band can shift uh, through uh, three gears. That they really just um, you know work off each other perfectly. They basically proved that with trilogy, which is just a great song. And arguably, you know, together with the end, the endless enigma part one and two, uh, the best song of the entire record. Uh, then we get living sing, which is a bit of a tra uh, transition because we have uh, side two, which is basically just three songs, and we have uh, a really long song, a transition, and then another re really long song, and the last long song is um, the last song is Abaddon's Bolero. I'm not sure what that means as well, but this song is basically a trilogy, it's kind of is a part two of it, but uh, then a sort of ending sequence, and ending sequence, it is really mellow, it is really chilled. It is not really heavy, well, Emerson Lake Palmer isn't really heavy in the first place, but, but this song especially is uh, really, really relaxing, really cool, really chilling to listen to. Um, yeah.